Welcome to the overview video for chapter 8. Our learning objectives are number one, to describe the principal instrument families from the Renaissance and how they are similar or different from the medieval predecessors. Two, to describe the principal genres of 16th century instrumental music and know which are derived from vocal music, dancing, or improvisation. Three, to identify some of the composers and works associated with instrumental music in the Renaissance. And four, to explain what is distinctive about Venice and Venetian music in the late 16th and early 17th centuries. After 1450, churches, patrons, and musical amateurs increasingly cultivated instrumental music. It was written down more often, reflecting an increase in status and musical literacy for instrumentalists. There were new instruments, new roles for instrumental music, new styles, and new genres. Instrumental music in the Renaissance had been viewed in five main categories. Number one, dance music. Number two, arrangements of vocal pieces. Number three, settings of existing melodies. Number four, variations. And number five, abstract works. The best known dance treatise from the era is Orchestiography by dancing master Thoino Arbo. Social dance was considered a pleasant and profitable activity. Not only did it help one stay physically fit, but it also allowed men and women to mingle in arranged configurations and observe one another. Dancing was considered a kind of rhetoric by which persons through movement could persuade others that they have certain desirable personality traits. 16th century composers of dance music began developing instrumental music that was distinctive from vocal music. Printed dance pieces show us that 16th century performers often improvised by ornamenting a given melodic line or by adding one or more contrapuntal parts to a given melody or line. Published dances for ensemble were functional, but most dances for solo lute or keyboard were stylized. Each dance type has a characteristic rhythm, meter, tempo, and form. The favorite courtly dance of the 15th and early 16th centuries was the bass dance. Renaissance dances were often grouped in contrasting pairs, such as the pavon and galliard. A major source of instrumental music was vocal music, which was often played by instrumentalists. Lutenists, such as Spanish vihulist Luis de Navarres, 1526-1549, made in tabulations of vocal pieces, arrangements that were written in tablature and were idiomatic for the instrument. Some instrumental pieces incorporated existing melodies. In Catholic churches, antiphonal chants could be performed in alternation between the choir singing chant and the organ playing a cantus firmus setting or paraphrase. Polyphonic arrangements of chorales for organ organ chorales, appeared from the 1570s. Variations, or variation form, was a 16th century invention in which a given theme was followed by a series of variations on that theme. Some musicians who wrote and improvised variations on repeated bass lines or on standard airs for singing verses, such as Guardame, Las Vacas, and the Romanesca. English virginalists of the late 16th and early 17th centuries, such as William Byrd, cultivated the variation, primarily using dances or familiar songs as their themes. Beginning in the late 15th and 16th centuries, instrumentalists composed music that was truly independent of dance rhythms or borrowed tunes. During this period, composers wrote pieces that mixed imitation with free counterpoint, as in the chanson of the time. Improvisatory pieces like the prelude, Fantasia, or Richicare, or and Richicar were used to introduce a song, fill time during church services, establish the mode of a subsequent song, test tuning, and entertain. The Toccata was the chief form of keyboard music in improvisatory style during the second half of the 16th century. The Richicar, or Richicar, evolved from the early improvisatory form into a work based on a series of imitative sections much like a motet. 
The canzona, or canzon, originated as a work in the style of a French chanson with a typical opening figure, long, short, short. But by the late 16th century was a light, fast-moving, and strongly rhythmic genre of instrumental music that featured several themes, most treated in imitation, resulting in a series of contrasting sections. Instrumental performers and composition in Venice reached a high level in the late 16th and early 17th centuries, and their music exemplifies traits of both the late Renaissance and the early Baroque period. Venice, a wealthy city of traders, was the second most important Italian city after Rome. The Venetian government used lavish spectacles, music, and art as cultural propaganda. The center of Venetian musical culture was the Church of St. Mark, and its choir master position was the most coveted musical post in all of Italy. A permanent instrumental ensemble was established in 1568. Giovanni Gabrielli, 1555 to 1612, served St. Mark's for almost 30 years, and his compositions used all musical resources available to him. Gabrielli wrote polychoral motets, works for two or more choirs. Composers in the Venetian region often wrote music for divided choirs. Gabrielli also applied the concept of divided choirs to instruments in his canzonas. Like the canzona, the Venetian sonata consisted of a series of sections, each based on a different subject or on variants of a single subject. Gabrielli's sonata Pian e Forte was among the first works to mark dynamics and designate a particular instrument for each part. For the chapter 8 25 point quiz, I would know the distinct styles of instrumental music, vocal and dance. See page 141. I would know about printed dance music for lute and keyboard. See page 142. Know about Thoino Arbo, see page 143. Know about musical qualities of dance music and form of dance music, see page 144. Know what a consort is, see page 145. Know about instrumental ensembles. Know about dance pairings of the Renaissance. Know about intabulation. Know about lutes, C146. Know about the church music and antiphonal works on page 146 and 147. Know about the religious works. Know about variation form. Know about the origination of the lute. Know about the English virginalists. See 148. Know about variation technique. Know about William Byrd. Know about improvisatory practice, about canzonas. Know about their history with chansons, know about Venice and St. Mark's Church, know about instruments like the cornet and the sackbut, the recorder, the bassoon, the viol, the clavichord, and the violins, and know about Giovanni Gabrielli.